park swap today we're going to be riding Montezuma's Revenge while it still has the flywheel launch. Let's give a little history on the Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. Twelve installations were made between 1977 and 1982. Montezuma's Revenge opened May 21st, 1978, being the first to use a flywheel launch instead of a weighted drop launch, which was the standard at the time. The flywheel builds up energy, which releases once the car is dispatched from the station by spinning at over a thousand RPM. It drives a pulley that catches with the car and launches. After the launch, the flywheel slowly winds back up, bringing the pulley back to the station. Pretty cool. It's the only one of its kind left operating in the United States. Now let's ride it one last time. All right, here we go. So it's a 15 minute wait, that's not too bad. All right, here we go, first row. For the car in front of you, please place all loose articles, including hats, beyond the yellow area. I feel successful in my journey. I did the flywheel launch in the first row, which I've never done before. It's incredible in the first row. My eyes are still tearing up. It's a very unique launch compared to the LSMs and the LIMs. It has like a gradual start and then keeps picking up speed. Incredible. Uh, I'm really gonna miss that launch system if not ends up removing it. That's not 100% confirmed, but it seems pretty likely They've been having a lot of maintenance issues with this ride for years because of the flywheel launch system. So it's finally time to say goodbye to the flywheel launch, Montezuma's Revenge. We're all gonna miss you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this different video on Park Swap. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out and it lets me know you like this type of content. Thank you for celebrating the world of berries with us. I will see you all in the next Park Swap video. Bye.